Use a trigonometric substitution to compute the integral of the square root of 25 minus 9x squared. So let's first prep this as 25 minus 9x squared to the 1 half power and see where we're going to go from here. Now notice what we have inside is a number squared minus a variable expression squared. And so that would mean we should force theta equals the arc sine of the number or the variable over the number. So the variable term squared is 3x the number term squared is 5 and so this is the substitution to force so we'll solve it for x we get sine of theta is equal to 3x over 5 or 5 thirds the sine of theta is equal to x now we've switched the roles of x and y so we'll differentiate we'll have 5 thirds times the cosine of theta is equal to the derivative of x with respect to theta multiply through by a theta we get 5 thirds uh, cosine of theta d theta is equal to dx and this is easy to, to replace. So we'll replace the differential with 5 thirds cosine of theta d theta. And then let's take care of the rest of the substitution. We're going to have this x squared right here is what we need to replace. So we'll have 25 minus 9 times 5 thirds the sine of theta quantity squared raised to the 1 half power. That's a mess. We need to clean this up. So let's focus on this piece first. We have 25 minus 9 times, that would be 25 ninths the sine of theta quantity squared. If we square the terms, the ninths cancel to get us 25 minus 25 times the sine of theta squared. Pulling the 25 out, we have a 1 minus the sine of theta squared in parentheses, and the Pythagorean theorem says that that's just cosine of theta squared. So we'll make this replacement here. This means we have a new integral, the integral of 25 cosine of theta quantity uh, squared to the quantity 1 half power times 5 thirds cosine of theta d theta. Now since we have a product to a power, we can do this individually. This is 25 to the 1 half times cosine squared to the 1 half, which is just cosine to the first, times 5 thirds the cosine of theta d theta. So let's clean up some terms here. Uh, this is just 5, and 5 times 5 thirds is 25 thirds. And we have a cosine times a cosine, so we have cosine of theta quantity squared. This guy is on our list of 20. So keeping the 25 fifths out in front, the integral of cosine squared is 1 half theta, or u I guess in this case, uh, sorry theta, plus 1 half the sine of theta times the cosine of theta. There's our antiderivative. So now we need to back substitute. We're going to need some space. So bringing this up to the top, we will have uh, 25 thirds times, let's pull that 1 half out, 1 half times theta, which is the arc sine of 3x over 5, plus the sine of theta, the sine of the arc sine of 3x over 5, plus the cosine of the arc sine of 3x over 5. Uh, running out of room here. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Now notice that what we've got here are two trig of arc trig combinations, there and there. So if we focus on this expression right here, the sine or the arc sine bit, or its corresponding sine of theta equals 3x over 5, we can represent this as a triangle and simplify. If that's the angle theta, then the opposite side is a 3x and the hypotenuse is a 5. That means the missing side is the square root of the hypotenuse squared minus the opposite squared. And notice that this is exactly the expression we started the integral off with. So let's make our replacements. Uh, out in front we've got a 25 sixths. The arc sine of 3x is not replaceable. It's not trig arc trig. But now we can do the sine of this part. Sine is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, or 3x over 5. The cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, or the square root of 25 minus 9x squared over 5. So now we have an antiderivative. If we were to clean this up, we have 25 sixths times the arc sine of 3x over 5 plus, let's see, we have 3x times the square root of 25 minus 9x squared all over 25. Now if we were to distribute this 25 sixths in, we would have 25 sixths times the arc sine of 3x over 5 and the 25 and the 25 would cancel, the 3 would go into the 6 twice and we would have 1 half x times the square root of 25 minus 9x squared. Add an integration constant, and there's our antiderivative.